Hi everyone! So I have been getting a lot of new requests, requests for a lot of different kinds of animals lately and one of the most popular ones was a dog and I also have a, a kitten tutorial if you want to go see that as well and the link is on my channel somewhere. And so yeah, so today I'll be showing you how to um, create this cute little bobblehead dog charm and yes it kind of has like a bobbly head which is kind of cute. And so um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love this charm already and so now without further further ado, let's get started. So today you will need any type of loom, a hook, and bands in the colors of tan, brown, and black. I am using the tan and brown for the from the new Rainbow Loom um, Skin Tones pack, and basically it comes in multiple colors as you see here. Um, it obviously does not come in this box, it comes in the regular packaging, however I put them in this box just for convenience purposes. However, I am using the um, darker tan color as well as the brown color, so it's pretty much like the two darkest colors in the pack. And for, and yeah, I'm also using black as well, that's not in the pack. And for the band quantities, you will need about 48 tan, 42 brown, and 4 black. Now, um, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create the dog that you saw at the beginning that had the tan body and um, brown stomach. Uh, and you also saw a dog that looked like this. But we will be making the one um, that is... The other one of the dogs that I showed you at the beginning and so um, you can also flip flop the two colors around and do different body patterns and stuff but this is just the basic pattern I'll be showing you in this video today so without further ado let's get started so first we're going to start at the top of our loom with our arrows pointing down this just kind of helps us see the big picture a little bit easier. And we're going to start off with our tan bands first. We're going to use double bands unless otherwise stated. So you're going to go vertically. To the left. And then to the right. So you should get something like this, this little kind of triangle thing here. And now we are going to continue on with the face. So we're going to be doing two rows of vertical double tan bands here. And now we're going to do one more row of double tan bands. So you should have something like this now. And basically we've created the top of the face there. Now we're going to create kind of the snout area which is going to be dark brown. Or just brown technically. And we're going to create one row of double brown bands. And sorry if you hear the beeping in the background, that's the computer receiving emails. So you should get something like this now. And we're now going to create one more link in the center pin bar of double brown bands. Like that. Now we're going to go and close this shape off. So you're going to use double bands outwards and do the same thing onto the right side. So you go outwards like that. So your whole loom should look something like this now. And so now we've created the head, and since this is a bobblehead figurine, we're going to leave the body unattached. So we're going to scoot our loom down, and we're going to start on the two pins here that don't have any bands on them. With And we're going to start with tan bands. So double band still, go vertically for the neck. To the left. And to the right, kind of the same start as we did with the face, and I'll probably have to go off camera and get more bands in a little bit. And you're going to go double bands vertically on the left and right pin bars of your loom. Like that. So now you should have something like this. And we're now going to do kind of this stomach that is colored. So we're going to use brown for this. I'm going to go vertically in the center. And then one whole row of double brown bands. like that. And now we are going to do one row of um, all tan bands again. So double tan bands. A 
Okay, so you now should have something like this. And now we're going to create the feet for the little dog that we have here. So we're going to use double bands for this of our tan. You're going to go vertically and vertically again on the left and right pin bars here. So these are pretty much the feet. And now we're going to scoot our loom up and we're going to create the arms. So for this we're going to use double tan bands. Go vertically on the left pin bar as well as the right pin bar. And this will eliminate us having to do any hook and hands work for the arms only. So now we're going to add cat bands to all four paws. So um, if you would like, you can make the paws darker so that way they are a little bit more accentuated. So you could use dark brown or black for that. However, in this tutorial today, I'm still just going to use plain tan for this. So I'm going to take a single tan band here and I'm going to start on this top right paw. I'm going to wrap this band around this top pin here three times. So single band wrapping this around the pin three times. like that. And now I'm going to do it to the left paw. So one, two, and three. So you should get something like that now. And by the way, if you're wondering what bracelet I'm wearing, I'm wearing a three pin single bracelet. I do have a tutorial for this on my channel, by the way. So um, it's also called the tri-single bracelet. So if you're interested in this bracelet, don't forget to check out that tutorial. Anyways, we're going to get back to the dog now. And so you should have two cat bands on these top two pins. And now we're going to scoot our loom down and do cat bands here on the bottom two pins. And I do have a wall back here so I can't scoot my loom back any further so I apologize for me having to turn my loom but we're going to use single bands and we're going to wrap these around um, each of the bottom two pins three times again same like the arms or the front paws so one two and three okay so you should now have cat bands on these two pins here that are at the bottom of your loom as well as the top two pins here that are for the front paws. So basically this is what you should have. And so now we are going to go ahead and we're going to start um, doing some work on the face. So scoot up to the top of your loom and we are now going to add on the um, ears at the top here. So for this we're going to be using our dark brown bands. We're going to start at the top of our loom with our arrows still pointing down. You're going to take double round bands and go vertically on the left and right pin bars. So, vertically on the left and vertically on the right. So you should have something like this now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of hook and hands work. And I know you guys don't like this, and I do apologize for making you do this, but it is kind of um, required at this point because we would have run out of pins. Um, so we're going to start off with um, a single cat band here, or a single band, and we're going to wrap this around our hook three times. So one, two, three. So you should have three loops here on your hook, like that. And I'll try to go a little slow on this. So you're going to use double dark brown bands. And you're going to slide these on your hook. And slide this triple loop band on, over your hook and onto these two bands here. And then fold the end over. So that way you get something like this here. So you should have one link like that. We're going to create one last link using double brown bands again. Stick your hook here, slide it through this single link chain here, and put the end back on. So now you should get something like this, and we're now going to put this on our loom. First I'm just going to stick mine on the top left pin here, so you're just going to transfer it there. Stick your finger inside the loops, and then transfer it onto this top left pin. So you get something like that. And I'm just going to tilt mine a little bit downwards, so that way it looks like that. And we're going to make one more for the right ear here. So again, you're going to take a single brown band and wrap it under, around your hook three times. So you should get something like this. Now we're going to create a single link using double bands. So you're going to put this on your hook like that. Slide this triple loop thing here onto your double bands like that 
and slide the opposite end onto your hook. So you should get something like this now. And now we're going to take double bands again, two bands at a time, and create one last link using our hook. So just slide this onto the double bands here and put the end back on. So you should have something like this now. And we're now going to place this on our loom on the top right pin here. So basically I'm just going to stick my finger in these loops that are on my hook, stretch that out, and sorry my elbows are up on the table, makes funny noises, and you're going to slide that onto the top right pin and put it outwards a little bit. So you get something like that now. And so there we've got the two ears that are done. So now we're going to add on where the eyes go. So for this we're going to use our black bands. So you're going to use one black band first and wrap it around this pin here. So spot this pin on your loom. And you're going to wrap that black band around that pin four times. Two, three, and four. So you should get something like that now on this pin here. Kind of use the brown and the ears as a kind of a guide to see where that pin is. And then we're going to do the same thing to the pin that is directly horizontally across the loom. So this is going to be the left eye. Again, wrap a single black band around this pin four times. So you should have something like this now. Now we're going to add on the little kind of puffy cheeks for the snout. So for this, we're going to take um, a single black, a uh, single brown band, and we're going to wrap this around our hook three times again, like that. And now we're going to take double dark brown bands, slide this on your hook, and slide these triple looped bands or this triple looped band onto that link there. But do not fold the end back over onto your hook. You're going to hold on to it like this and you're going to place this across these two pins here. So you're going to place the bottom onto this bottom pin here and the top onto this top pin here. So you should get something like that now. So a single band that has this triple loop band in between there. Like that. Now I'm going to show you another technique for the puffy cheeks. So for this I'll zoom in a little bit. You're going to take a single brown band, you're going to wrap it around this bottom pin three times. Like that. Now you're going to take double brown bands and stretch it across these top two pins here. So you should get something like that now. Now you're going to grab the three loops here with your hook. Make sure you grab them from the outside of the pin. Don't go inside, stay on the outside. You're going to find the three loops that you looped on there with a single band. You're going to grab them and pull them over the pin. Now it's okay if you have to grab them one at a time. I'll show you if I grab one. You're going to pull that over the pin. Release. Or you can grab all of them at once. It honestly doesn't matter unless they all get, uh, the purpose is just to get them all hooked over like that. So you can use either method for um, the two cheeks here. For those of you who aren't as good with your hook and hands, then this technique on the right might be easier for you. So um, just for future notice, I guess. So now we're going to go ahead and make the nose for the dog. So you're going to take double of your black bands. Since this dog does have kind of a big nose, we're going to make it have a big nose. You're going to wrap these double bands around your hook three times like that. Take your single brown band and slide these loops onto the single brown band. So be very careful because um, for those of you who aren't as good with hook and hands this could be quite difficult for you so you might want to pause the video here so that way you don't feel rushed. But I've got mine here and you're going to stretch this across these bottom two pins here. So be kind of careful because this is quite difficult. Mine fell off my hook, but you know, whatever works for you. And place that across the two pins. Now the black nose got might be a little loopy or whatever, but that's totally okay because we're going to fix it later um, when we're finished with our project here. Now we're going to start putting on horizontal bands across our loom. So I'm going to start at the top of my loom here by the eyes. We're going to use single bands for this whole process. So I'm using a single tan band first, 
you're going to stretch it across these top three pins here, like that. But you're going to pull carefully, very slowly, so that way you don't break your band. Rainbow Loom bands shouldn't break too easily, though. And you're going to twist it in half here and fold it back onto itself. So basically, you've double looped this band across these three pins here. We're going to do the same thing to the next three pins. Use a single tan band and stretch this across three th these three pins. Slowly stretch it out, twist it, and then loop it back onto itself. Like that. So it's okay if you have a little bit of difficulty doing it. Just pause the video if you do need more time. And we're going to move on to the next three pins. Now these next three pins are easy. You're just going to take a single brown band and just stretch it across those three, but we're not going to double loop it, so just place it across three pins. We are going to add a cap band onto this bottom pin here. So you're going to take a single brown band and wrap around this pin three times. So, one, two, and three. So you should get something like that now, and this is what the face looks like. Now we're going to scoot our loom down and go to the body. And first, um, we're not going to do any more double looping, so if you had trouble with that, then good news for you. But now we're going to use a single brown band and stretch it across these three pins here. And now we're going to do um, the same thing, but with a tan band this time. Like that. And now for the bottom three pins, we're going to do something a little bit different. You're going to take a single tan band, start on the bottom left pin, but you're going to go around the top pin and place the end onto the bottom right pin. So you should have something like that now. Now we are finally ready to start some small hooking processes around our loom. We're going to start first here at the arms of the body. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. But here's the bottom of the body, and we're going to go up to the arms. And basically, this part is a little bit stressful on your hook, so be careful if you do not have a metal hook. But you're going to stick your hook inside of this cap band here. You're going to circle around. Make sure you circle around. It makes it a whole lot easier. Then pick up those bands and make kind of a little circle around this pin to get the bands off. And then pull these bands downwards to this bottom pin here. And I think I like shot a band across the <laughs> across my table. Okay, so we're gonna do this same thing onto the right side. So stick your hook inside the cap band, circle around, grab those two bands there, carefully um, pull that off of the pin and hook downwards like that. So you should get something like this now. And we're now going to scoot up our loom and do the same thing to the ears, except obviously instead of a cap band, we have this little single chain link here. So we're going to start on the left, do the same thing, go inside these bands, circle around, and grab these double bands here. Then carefully pull this off of the pin. Be very careful because the single chain likes to try and slip off. And hook those downwards onto this bottom pin here. So you should get something like that now. And now we're going to do the same thing to the right. Go inside this band, circle around, grab these two bands here. Make sure that you don't let the single chain fall off. And hook those bands directly downwards. Like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hook the eyes here. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to grab the black bands here. It's okay if you grab just one at a time or if you grab all of them. It does not matter. Unless, uh, the point is just to get them all hooked over. But the purpose is to cinch the band here in the center. So I'm just going to grab some of the black loops and hook those over the pin and release. If you do have a weaker hook, then I would recommend grabbing one loop at a time. Grab the rest, hook over the pin and then you should get something like that now. We're going to do the same thing to the right side. Grab some loops, carefully hook those over the pin, and release. Grab a loop, hook over the pin, and release. So I've now finished hooking the eyes, and we're actually going to add one more band here next to the snout. You're going to uh, grab one single brown band that's dark brown here, and you're going to place this across these three pins here. I forgot to add that in earlier, sorry. 
and just place that normally across those three pins. And now we can finally start the whole entire hooking process. So I'm going to start here at the bottom of my loom, and I do apologize for the wall back there, so I'm going to turn my loom a little bit. But I'm going to start and hold my hook onto the left pin and go inside the cat band and grab the two bands and hook those upwards and do the same thing on the right side. Like that. So now I'm going to hook the next um, the next row. I'm going to start on the left and right sides first. Make sure you go inside this horizontal band. Hook those upwards and now do the right side inside this horizontal band and hook upwards. Now for the center, we're not going to go inside of any bands because there's no bands to go inside of. So you're going to grab all the bands that appear here at the split of the pin and hook those upwards here. So you should get something like that now. And now you're just going to hook the rest of this normally like you would in a triple single bracelet. Put that upwards. Go to the center. And the outside. Like that. Now we're going to hook the last row here. Like that. And now we're going to hook the two bands that go inwards. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry, that was my elbow again. <laughs> go inside all those bands and grab the bottom two. And hook those inwards. And do the same thing on the right side. Like that. Lastly, we're going to hook this one single chain link here. Make sure you go inside all of these bands. Grab the bottom two. And hook those upwards. So now your loom should look something like this. And we're going to remove everything except for the bands that are on this top pin here. So I'm just going to do this on camera because I don't feel like fast forwarding today. Okay, so just be very careful with those two bands that are holding onto that top pin there. But leave them there, and we're going to start the hook hooking process on the face. Now be very careful, um, don't speed ahead on this part because we are going to stop kind of in the middle to add the body. So you're first going to go inside the cat band, grab the top two, other than the cat band, and hook those to the right. Grab the next two and hook those to the left. So you should get something like this now. And now you're going to go inside the cap and grab the last two and hook these upwards. Completely ignore the nose there, act like it's not there. And push those bands down in the center. Now we're going to transfer this body, so put it on your hook so that we get that kind of, and it's okay if the body's a little curly or whatever. And we're going to transfer this to the second pin from the bottom here. So carefully transfer this onto that pin right here, like that. So you should get something like this now and kind of hold it down because it's easy for that band to fall off or those bands to fall off. And you're going to hook those um, brown double bands that are there at the bottom upwards like that. So now we're going to continue the hooking process. Remember, we haven't hooked this bottom left or bottom right pin, so I'm going to start on the left. And you're going to completely ignore the bands that are a part of this kind of bundle right here. And you're going to go straight and grab the, only the bottom two bands. Hook those upwards. The band with the little loops on it is not going to get hooked. Do the same thing on the right side. Grab only the bottom two bands. Like that and hook those upwards like that and from here is just a regular triple single um, bracelet so just hook those upwards like that and hook the last three in a row, last three in a row like that 
And finally, we're going to hook these two bands that go inwards. So go on the left pin, grab the bottom two, and hook those inwards. Push your bands down. And now we're going to do the same thing on the right. And I only grabbed one, so I'm going to grab my other one now. Hook that inwards like that. And lastly, we're going to hook this one band that goes vertically here. So grab the bottom two bands, hook those upwards like that. Now we're going to tie off our creation. So you could put a C-clip on here, but um, I'm going to show you how to tie it with a slip knot. So basically what you're going to do is go and grab the bottom two bands. Make sure you do not go inside the pin, stay on the outside of the pin. Grab the bottom two bands and you're going to pull this over the pin and release it. So you get something like that. Now grab the remaining bands on the pin, give it a little tug, and now we have tightened that knot and it's not going anywhere. So and now your loom should kind of look like this kind of awkward looking here. And we're now going to remove this from our loom. So hot off the loom, this is what I've got. And now I'm going to stretch everything out so that way it gets all even and stuff. So stretch the body out a little bit, make the arms protrude out a little bit more so that way they stand out a little bit more. And then lastly, the face. So you should see loops on the left and right sides. You're going to grab those loops here and just pull them outwards. Do the same thing onto the left side. Both sides pull those loops outwards. And kind of give it tugs to adjust and make sure everything is nice and even. Like that. Kind of make the nose come out a little bit more. Mine's got quite a lot of loops here for the nose. <laughs> Crazy nose here. And so now we are finished with this really cute bobblehead dog charm. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Once again, this is based of kind of like my based off of my animal body design. And I do have this one here, which I created the body with it's like inverted on each two. So um if you want to try out a different pattern, then this is another one that you can try out. But personally I prefer this one on the left here. So, anyways, please give this video a thumbs up if this video helped you out, and also if you like this cute little dog charm. Also, don't forget to check out my little cute kitty charm if you're more of a cat person. I personally like dogs better, but I don't know. I'm allergic to both, so <laughs> that's how it is. And so, um, also don't forget to find me on um, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. My links are all in the description box below. And also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later. Bye!